Hello everyone, welcome to Sunya IAS and today is a very special day for each and every one of you and including us because as you people were demanding since long that we want such kind of project and finally today we have fulfilled our promise and today we are launching the prelims revision program or the Sunya Super 50 batch, right? Since past months, our team was fully dedicated, fully invested in this program to nurture this program in a beautiful way or in such a way that this prelims becomes your cakewalk, right? So let's see what is it, how we have devised it, why is it unique? The very first feature of this program is that we will be, first of all, completing the entire syllabus while this, by this test series. And second thing is we would be revising the entire syllabus as well. And the mode would be plus 80 test. Out of that, there will be around 73 sectional tests, including that of the GS, including that of current affairs, as well as your CSAT, which has been becoming a monster since past years, right? And then there will be around six to seven all India mock tests, all India mock tests. That will be a part of that program. Second thing which is uh, which this program will be focused upon is to build your temperament or to condition your mind's temperament. Right. So we all have almost have heard the topper saying that prelims is not a game of knowledge. It is a game of uh, a temperament. So what do you mean by that? Ultimately, what happens is when you join the normal test series, what happens is the gap between the one particular test is almost of one week. Ultimately, what you end up doing is you end up doing or end up dividing your syllabus into various parts. But when the real examination comes or just before the one month of exam, what you need to do is you need to do the exactly reverse of that. In one day only, you need to revise the entire syllabus. So that builds builds a kind of pressure on your brain, on your brain or the mind, right? Which your brain is not trained to handle. And then comes the difference between this portion as well as the this portion. So we have devised this test series in such a way that for each and every test, you have a real feel of last one month preparation, right? The test or the dates of the test have been devised in such a way that you have the feel of the last one month. Then in real exam, what happens is you have the ultimate pressure of that. If I take this question right, I am in the game. If I take this question, you are, I am out of the game. So similarly, a competition based model has been inculcated in this exam so that while solving each and every question from every single test, you have that pressure on the backside of your mind that if I'm going to take it right, I'll be getting certain benefits. I'll be getting the mentorship support from the faculty itself, not from the students. The IS is famous for its mentorship by its faculty and the toppers. So you'll be getting that hand holding support by those mentors just after curling your prelims. Okay? So that competition sense, which will be keeping a pressure on your mind would continuously be there. Right. And the third aspect is that beautiful design of test discussions. Right. So test discussions would happen in such a way that they'll not be focused on just completing the 50 questions or just ticking the box for the sake of like, yes, the discussion has been done. No, if the discussion would be happening, the discussion would be in such a way. Let's say that there were 90 topics in the test and we can only put the 50 questions or the 50 topics in the part nine test. But this discussion will make sure that at least you have four to five points, whatever are necessary for the purpose of prelims from these leftover 40 topics as well in the class discussions. So we'll be comprehensively covering all these topics. The main thing is the temperament is the daily uh, pressure on the backside of your mind, which you have to train your mind in such a way that we in three months get acclimatized to the real pressure or the real feel of the UPSC exam. All right. Uh, then let's talk about that. How, how many tests are there around? There are 73 tests as we talked before. So there will be 50 questions in each test. There will be 50 tests from general studies. And these tests also have been on strictly UPSC pattern. When I say UPSC pattern, what is the trend since 2014? What has happened that the the amount of questions from the subject like environment, right from the subject like science, etc. have increased, right? Or let's say the economy and the subjects like geography, history, the questions are randomly asked. Now, some years there are high questions, some years there are low questions, right? So our test series has also been designed in such a way that the subjects which are continuously getting around 22 to 23 questions, they also have at least around eight to nine tests out of these 50 tests. Okay? So we have to prepare ourselves with the recent trends of UPSC. All right. 
Then there would be 13 current affairs tests. That would be the monthly test and then 10 tests from CSAT, right? And every week there would be around six tests out of that from Monday to Thursday, there will be four GS tests. Every Friday, there would be one current affairs test. That would be monthly test. I feel that there are seven days to prepare for one current affairs test. And that is the ideal amount of required time, which you can devote, okay? which you not should devote, which you can devote right now, given the time, which is left for this UPSC examination that is being held on 28th of May. Okay, so seven days are more than enough and you have to devote and have to complete that. And every Saturday, there would be one CSAT test. All right. Sunday would be the off. Let's rejuvenate your minds and let's utilize the Sunday to, uh, for having a little break. All right. Then let's talk about the schematic of the question paper. If we talk about the question paper, there will be 50 questions in each and every test. And we have divided this question paper very beautifully. TKG. So 10 questions in every uh, in every question or every test would be directly from the NCRTs. All right. So you must have heard the topper saying that NCRTs are the core foundation and you cannot skip them. TK, and it is very true. So in every test, we'll be putting the 10 questions directly from the NCRTs. Then the 20 questions would be from your standard source. All right. And whatever, what will be that standard source? We'll be just discussing it in the next slide. Then the 10 questions would be the previous year questions. TKG. So majority of you, when you come to us, you say that, sir, prelims ni ora, aisa, aisa. We always tell you that, have you, have you uh, comprehensively covered the previous year questions? So the answer is yes. And now it's the time. Let's see. Let's check you people that are you very well thorough with the previous year questions, the, uh, the points which are given under the previous year questions or the main heading. So you have to be very thorough. The reason being that every year around eight to nine questions have their direct origin from the previous year questions itself. Okay. Where take any paper, whether it be of 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, or either 22. So eight to nine questions every year have their origin from the previous year questions itself. All right. So that becomes important for us. And then finally, last thing, the 10 questions will be based on elimination technology, right? Elimination technique or the common sense space, common sense method. All right. So what do I mean by that? We'll be just discussing it in the next slide. But the, uh, the real uh, point of inserting such questions is that we don't want to put the bouncers for the sake, like normal test series have bouncer questions to reduce your marks, right? So nothing as such uh, sort of will be there. But instead, we'll be putting the questions that are going to test your common sense or going to nourish and train your mind during this rigorous journey of three months. So that even in the actual exam pressure, you can hold your nerves calm and you can solve these commonsensical questions. TKG. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, this will be our whole schematic of the question paper okay then the next syllabus uh, next slide uh, we'll be covering the entire syllabus right where the mode of questions and the post test discussions we already discussed the questions will be strictly designed on the upsc pattern uh, there will be some aspects which i'll be clearing or we'll be clearly telling you in the uh, in the test discussions that which you have to cram because the trend has changed last year there was questions like only one pair only two pair in those questions there cannot be any elimination technique used right so for such aspects there will be only few aspects which you have to cram and that would be clearly told you by us in the class then the explanations would be very crisp and precise to get to, uh, we will be telling you that what is important, what to read and how much to read. What is that? We are just discussing in the next slides. So this is the another important aspect of this test series. Whenever we'll be giving you the syllabus, let's suppose this is one first test PRP one, right? In this, we are, uh, we have put the topic of Northeast India's biodiversity. If we have put the theme, the forest conservation will be precisely telling you the sources. TKG, whatever has to be read for the next test would be clearly made you marked by the teacher itself in the class before the next test. TKG, so selective reading we'll be doing, we'll be doing the just what is required then if we have to we'll be referring to the original sources from where the UPSC is going to put the questions TK for an example if the theme is forest conservation so we'll be exactly referring to UN forum on forests website TK and on that we'll be particularly telling you that the about tab and the program tab has to be read by you then if we are talking about the UNEP TK that is United Nations Environment Program we have to refer its publication and data tab the advocacy tab funding and partners tab that's it Okay, so nothing extra has to be read by you precisely what is to be read would be told in the class itself. Then the tests have been designed in thematic format. So what do you mean by thematic format? Let's discuss it. What happens is 
when you tend to revise for your prelims you tend to forget that whatever you have done this is a problem faced by majority of the candidates now why that problem is faced what happens is you prepare for prelims in bits and pieces and this joining of pieces is not being done by you that's why you are not able to remember man liji abhi i give you an example from your own background that was your graduation's background i told you a concept and then i tell you factual points agar the wo factual points are from your own background let's say that that i i mention a thinker and that thinker is from political science now if you have psi or optional or you have a political science background you will be able to remember that but if you are from commerce background or anthropology background you will not be able to remember the facts why because the concepts or that theme is not clear in your mind so these tests have also instead of giving the syllabus as it is throwing the syllabus to the students this test has been devised on theme based syllabus so what do you mean by theme based syllabus let's suppose we are doing the concept of ghgs greenhouse gases in that we will be doing the three gases theek hai methane carbon dioxide nitrous oxide the three main gases how we'll be doing that now first let's suppose we are talking about carbon dioxide we'll be doing the features of carbon dioxide the sources and sinks the initiatives right then we'll be moving on to the application part that is this ccus then we'll be moving on to the ocean acidification concept then we'll be moving on to the green agriculture the initiatives like carbon pricing carbon trading then if these 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 kind of concepts are there which are there to control the carbon dioxide from where the government or the international organizations are getting power to impose them and that is from the kyoto and paris or the cop26 or the cop27 which has been held recently then we look at the domestic initiatives which are being taken as simultaneously that is international solar alliance we have osoog we have world solar alliance and then ultimately the common projects governing all these three that is the global carbon project and ultimately the repercussions of the greenhouse gases in general that is the concept of retreating glaciers the karakoram anomaly so the test have also been devised that you will be preparing this in one instance only no 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 preparing in in bits and pieces we will be thematically devising it we'll be thematically devising the syllabus we'll be telling you this has to be read from here this has to be read from here and we'll be preparing it in a fully conceptual and theme based syllabus all right uh, then the questions which i was talking about the elimination based questions let's let's discuss how the upsc tests your common sense let's suppose there is a question with respect to dpsp all right and in dpsp the question is with respect to which of the following uh, uh, dpsp have been added by amendment what normal test series do is they give the four statements now you have to cram it right but in the common sensical based questions what upsc does upsc will also set the question on similar lines but what it will do it will ask you about the dpsp which were added via amendments but what it will do it will put the lines right it will put the statements all right but then along with the statements it will also mention the article number example article 48 capital a example article 44 so now even in the real exam pressure the student who is able to recognize that the capital a is associated only with those articles which have been added via amendment so such options can be eliminated ultimately article 44 ucc can be eliminated right so upsc plays with such questions or let me give you an example of another question let's say aqi index so upsc will put the 7 to 8 gases whatever are there in aqi index out of one guess upsc puts that there was co2 now the student who is well aware of or the candidate who has calm nerves has conditioned his mind with respect to the elimination technique can easily recognize that co2 is the gas which we inhale on the daily basis how can it be a pollutant right and ultimately you can differentiate between a pollutant and a greenhouse gas yes co2 is a greenhouse gas but it is not a pollutant because i am inhaling it daily and ultimately you can solve the question with elimination all right so such questions would be there that that, that was the part of the elimination of the common sensical questions then the last part is that we'll be telling you that what to read and how much to read theek hai what is important example in preamble majority of the coaching institutes whenever you go do spend around 3 to 4 classes just discussing the preamble but what is required for the purpose of prelims in preamble you just need to know the four aspects that what is the nature of the state what are the objectives what is the source of authority and the date aspect right these are the four then you need to know that what are the cases or is it a part of the constitution is it part theek hai ji then is it integral part then can it be amended right and then does it aid in interpretation or is it the source of authority aid in interpretation so that are the all points in half the page you can sum the sum up the preamble and today go back to the previous year questions just 
just tell each and every question no question would be from outside these four uh, the, these 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 few perspectives right so this is what we are going to do from each and every topic which we have to do from the perspective of prelims right then the consistency and the discipline aspects theek hai ji so the test will be conducted at 8:30 am only theek hai har roz subah 8:30 baje you have to give your test for the online students the portal is going to open at 8:20 am it will close sharply at 9:40 am so do try to submit your test papers between this time frame all right and then the unique and the comprehensive discussion class as i have already told you will be just taking place after the test gets finished theek hai ji so then whatever test you are giving that final all india rank of the test you have given in the morning would be texted or messaged to you by 5 pm of that day itself so that you are competing among the best of the students you know that where you are standing and thus you can progress right the total programs duration would be around 3 months daily tests would happen except the that of the sundays all right uh, then the ultimately what we'll be doing is we will be noting your rank that will be messaged on 5 5 pm of that day that's ranks weighted average would be uh, would be taken out with respect to all the tests at the end out of that we will be making a list of the sunya super 50 students if those students clear this year's prelims so they'll be getting various benefits so what are the benefits the benefits first is they'll be getting personalized one to one membership the numbers of the faculties or the toppers who are already selected in the services who are going to provide or who do provide uh, this mentorship uh, services in sunya is their numbers personal will be shared with the students right so they can be in touch with the faculties not with the normal students right they are proper faculties they are proper uh, students who have been selected in the services second thing the first uh, first top 5 ranks would be uh, given that uh, means the much appreciated by toppers the this test series is very much appreciated by the toppers so mains 2023 test series 35 tests in total they'll be given access to that the rank 6 to 10 would be given the similar access to the test series but only of the 15 full length tests then 11 to 30 rank will be given the mains 2023 cash course in free and 31st to 35th uh, to 50th rank would be given the gs books of for mains 2023 okay so these are the benefits and uh, if we talk about the discussion the online discussion will just be available after the test not there will be no delay on the same day by 11 am you will be getting the discussion of the similar test which you have performed theek hai ji so let's brief about the program uh, uh, there was this consistent consistency aspect we are going to build we'll be practicing the entire prelims syllabus the video discussion will be available just after the class there will be daily rank by 5 pm of that day there will be daily test with exception of sunday there will be four gs test one current affairs and followed on saturday by a csat test and this model is a competition based model a weighted average ranks would be declared on that basis sunya super 50 will be selected which then will be availing certain benefits after they are clearing the prelims and the hand holding mentorship support all right so uh, this is it for the program so uh, do enroll yourself let's uh, break the myths and make this prelims a real cake walk for all of you thank you so much see you guys